my name is Andreas Fohlmann. I'm a PhD working in Valencia, Spain, and I'm here at Dolphin Quest Bermuda studying lung function in their dolphins. So what we're doing with our lung function studies is we're studying the respiratory physiology or we're trying to find ways of doing spirometry. So this is the same thing as you do when you go to the doctor and you test for pneumonia or you test for asthma. So we built this device called a pneumotachometer, or it's basically a flow meter. So we're measuring the respiratory flow that's going in and out of it. So as the animal exhales, we measure the flow, and as the animal inhales, we measure the flow. And with this, we can then diagnose healthy animals versus those that have certain diseases. So we can look at changes for asthma, changes for bronchitis, changes for pneumonia. And these are common diseases both in animals under human care and those in the wild. We don't know that much about the respiratory physiology of cetaceans and this is some of the first steps that we're trying to use these animals under, that are held under human care and then use that information to help the animals in the wild. So we can do this to go to different sites. So here we are in Bermuda, which is a pristine environment. So we can test these animals in the wild, compare them to other sites in the world, maybe those that have pollution, and compare. And we can basically do ecosystem health checks. So this is the thermometer for the ecosystem and how healthy our nature is. And one of the advantages working with these these animals under human care is that we can do things and make comparisons over different states so we can ask the animals to breathe voluntarily and we also have trained behaviors that are called shots or maximal respiratory efforts so we can look at how they can breathe similar to what you do with a doctor when you do spirometry so we're going to see if we can get a chuff from, okay. from this animal that's good so yeah, good that's a trained maximal respiratory effort there you Thank go. You. you can hear that this is much stronger than the volunteer. Nice. Very good. So these are then used to compare because they're more, uh, they're less variable between breaths. So we use these to then compare animals with or without various diseases. One of the advantages working with trained animals is that we can do this under voluntary control and this is particularly important for the studies we do. When you want to study physiology like we are, we want the animals to participate voluntarily. This minimizes the stress and we get variables so we get data that is more, more normal than what you would do if you do this on restrained animals.